Hey Wanderers, prepared Wander on the Woods today with another review for you. This one is going to be BDS knives, so stick around. Lately, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of buzz lately about BDS knives, so I wanted to check them out and see what they're all about because I'm hearing that they're, you know, a great price point. Well, I went to Amazon and of course they had them there, and I could not believe the prices of these knives. It was like just so dirt cheap. Uh, one was, I think, about $25, and the other one was about $15, and that's really in, in the price range of Amora. Um, but the difference with BDS knives is, if you take a look at these, they come with leather sheaths, and they have wood handles. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to talk about these a little bit, do a little carving with them, just some general wood processing and see how they perform and just kind of talk about how they feel in the hand and see what you guys think. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. <clears throat> so these are the two models that I chose. And uh, there's two big differences between these two. This is the $15 model. And this uh, definitely looks like Amora in its profile, blade profile. But this is not full tang. This is uh, some kind of rat tail tang, skeleton tang, or something like that. Um, so it doesn't, the, the metal does not go all the way through the wood handle. So this is not a knife you're going to be beating on too much. But for general carving and camp chores, it definitely looks good. Scandy grind. Leather sheath, nice leather sheath. Not bad for 15 bucks. The next one is this one. This is the $25 model. This is full tang. Wood handles. Once again, that Mora uh, companion profile. Scandy grind, high carbon steel, and uh, I put a little bit of a sharp edge on the spine myself. It wasn't too bad, but it needed it needed to be a little bit sharper to strike a fire steel. So I did that. I just ground that down with a with a Dremel tool. Not a big deal, you know, for a twenty-five dollar knife. I don't mind grinding on a little bit, customizing it myself, making it what I want it to be. But you know, when you first pick this one up. It definitely feels good in the hand. It's got a really nice grip shape to it. Has some weight to it since it's full tang. And you just definitely feel confident with this one. This one we can beat on a little bit more. Fifteen dollar knife. Very lightweight. Not much to it. But it it also has a pretty decent feel in the hand. It's a little bit shorter feeling, not as grippy. Doesn't fill the hand as much. But for a fifteen dollar knife, this would be a great beginner knife. This would be a great knife just to throw in as an extra into your toolkit, into your bush bag. Uh, use this for general carving. Definitely able to do some shavings with this. That Scandi bites nicely. It's a nice sharp blade right out of the box.
try the $15 knife. Now these have distinct model numbers, but I don't remember what they are. I'll try to post those down below. Um, yeah, even the little blade. Man, it carves nice. This is not soft wood, this is hard wood. Shaving down really well. curls. Hair shaving sharp right out of the box. So overall, I think this the $25 knife is the way to go. The full tang is worth the extra money. The weight and the feel of it in my hand is really nice. It's really weighty in the handle. Um, so it's really a great carving knife. Um, and since you can baton with it, since it does full tang, I think it just gives you a little more added security, so why not? I think the $15 knife is nice, you know, maybe for a child, for a beginner. Um, but uh, I think you're going to quickly outgrow it as a bushcrafter. You're going to want something a little bit more heavy duty. And if you really like moras and but want a more traditional look and want a leather sheath and the wood handle and everything, this is the way to go. These are made in the Ukraine, um, so they are not American made. Um, but uh, I think that's why the price point's so great because they, they're coming from the Ukraine. You get these on Amazon. I'll put them in my store if you guys are interested in checking them out uh, more. Um, but all in all, I think it's a great knife. It's definitely worth the money. Um, and I'm definitely going to be throwing this one in my bag as a, as a spare knife. Um, and probably even use it as a primary knife once in a while just because I, I really enjoy how it feels. I enjoy how it carves. Um, it uh, just did, you know, did all the tasks that I wanted it to do, and it's very sharp out of the box. And you know, that high carbon steel is going to be easy to sharpen in the field. It's just going to be an all-around nice knife. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with it. And the sheath, that sheath is just, you know, for 25 bucks, a hand-sewn leather sheath with rivets and a belt loop. 
can't beat that. Has nice retention. I mean, it's, it's, that's a nice little belt knife right there for 25 bucks. You can't go wrong, and you don't have that plastic look and feel. The Moras, um, just a little bit more traditional, and I think that's what traditional guys like. You know, they want that more traditional look with the leather and stuff. So this is definitely in their wheelhouse, um, definitely in mine. So great product. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Down below, there are links for you to follow to uh, the Amazon store, to Big Cartel to order uh, uh, prepared wanderer patches, and also our Facebook group, which is really growing. Facebook groups over well over a thousand members, getting bigger every day. Lots of extra content on the Facebook group from myself and other contributors. So check that out if you're interested and we'll see you next time on Prepare Point.